Unraveling Idioms, The Meaning Behind, Snake Bite. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that might sound a bit scary at first, but it's quite interesting when you break it down. We're talking about snake bite. Stay with me as we delve into what it means, how it's used, and the context in which you might encounter it. Ready to find out? Let's get started. Let's look at the phrase, snake bite. As the words suggest, it refers to the action of a snake using its fangs to puncture skin. This can be a serious matter, as some snakes are venomous and their bites can require immediate medical attention. But in the English language, phrases often have more than just a literal meaning. Which brings us to our next section. In a figurative sense, snake bite can be used metaphorically. When someone says they've been bitten by a snake without an actual snake involved, they might mean they've encountered something harmful or had a sudden stroke of bad luck. It's a colorful way to describe an unexpected or deceitful problem, just like a hidden snake might strike when you least expect it. You might hear, snake bite, used in various contexts. For example, I felt like I got a snake bite when I saw my phone bill this month. He got a snake bite at work today when he was suddenly asked to give a presentation. In these examples, the phrase is used to express surprise and a sense of being wronged or facing an unexpected difficulty. Sometimes, Snake bite can also appear in cultural references, such as in movies, songs, or literature, symbolizing betrayal or a sudden setback. It's important to understand the context to grasp the full meaning when you encounter this phrase. That wraps up our look at the phrase, snake bite. From its literal meaning to its metaphorical use, it's a great example of how English can be playful and nuanced. I hope this explanation helps you understand and use the phrase, snake bite, with confidence. Keep learning, and remember, not all bites are to be feared, some just add spice to our language. Until next time, happy learning!